Of course that title is inspired by YouTube queen Jenna Marbles. I'm not nearly as funny as she is, but I saw this picture, or actually I saw myself in a vlog while I was posting this Instagram picture and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I am definitely tricking people to think I'm good looking on Instagram, or at least better looking than I look in real life. So if you want some tips and tricks on how to trick people into thinking you're better looking than in real life on Instagram, here we go. My number one recommendation would be to always have sunglasses with you. Because if you are going to be taking pictures somewhere in gorgeous scenery or the sun is so bright, you need this in your life. Like seriously, Every picture or every person looks better with good sunglasses, right? So in real life, I would be like this on a picture if it was bright sunlight and on my Instagram pictures, I'm always like, ah, there we go. So problem one, fix. If you don't have any sunglasses with you, or you still have like really, really bright sunlight, you can play, well, I can play around with my hair right now, but um, you can definitely play around with your hair like I did in this picture and create some shade for your face So it definitely looks better playing with your hair is also a great way to trick people into thinking you're good-looking Because if you hide half of your face with your hair, you don't have to worry about your crazy facial expressions I'm not a supermodel. I don't know how to control all of this So usually when I think I'm making a spontaneous picture, it looks like this. So sometimes when I'm uncertain about my facial expressions, I will play around with my hair or the famous Kylie, Kylie Jenner trick. Play around with your hands, like cover just half of your face with your hands and it will definitely look better. Now let me make another disclaimer. If you for one second think any picture on my Instagram is taken in one take, <laughs> no. Never! Never! There are at least eight variations of this picture and every time someone takes a picture of me, I'm like, just shoot around, I need some options. So I can highly recommend you to never take just one picture, unless you're a supermodel. But seriously, if you want a fail-proof Instagram picture, take the picture from behind. It doesn't matter what your face looks like, you just walk around a little bit and it will always look good. I don't even try to pose because I can't do that, I just walk around on the beach and with eight pictures, there's usually one that I can use. Also, speaking of body parts that, I don't know, behave strange in pictures, if I do want to take a good body part post picture, I will seriously Google that scenery. I will, th this will be my, my Google search. Woman, beach, laying or something. And you will get all kinds of suggestions of professional models on how to position your hands and your legs. Also, if you want to trick people into thinking you dress well for videos, just film the top part. <laughs> because I'm just wearing sweatpants underneath this cool sweater. Honestly, just Google the scenery that you're in. For instance, if you're in a car, you want to take a cool picture. If you're in your bed, you want to take a cool picture. If you're at your dining room table or whatever, your kitchen, Google that scenery. A woman or a guy, if you're a guy, of course, you can do that too. And look at those body parts, how they are positioned. If you want the fill-proof version, you will take the picture from behind. Perfect. Now, my last recommendation would be, because I always bother the people around me to take pictures, and sometimes they get really, really, really sick and tired of me asking that. You need a selfie stick in your life, because I honestly cannot handle gorgeous scenery or a gorgeous pic opportunity and someone not wanting to take a picture of me. So I have my selfie stick. I don't know where it is right now. Where's my selfie stick? Wait, I'll get my selfie stick. There we go. This is my gorgeous selfie stick, which I got as a gift from a Chinese girl because it was super popular in China even before it was popular in the West because those Chinese people know what to do with their selfies. Oh, by the way, I have another Chinese tip for you. If you want the best selfies ever, like massive best filters ever download beauty cam from me too chinese people know their selfies that's all i'm gonna say about it anyways this is my selfie stick you can just you know uh, attach the phone you can put it in and then you can take like oh, man i love this thing you can take pictures from afar whatever if you take it like this from the back you can even take pictures from the back. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. I love it so much and you need it in your life if you want good Instagram pictures when people don't want to take pictures of you anymore because you're freaking annoying. 
Anyways, uh, I think those are my most important recommendations. Of course, if you think Instabel, 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 Tinkerbell, whatever. If you think Instagram should be real life, well, don't use my tricks. But if you want good Instagram pictures like I do, I really, really, really enjoy a well taken picture then I hope this was helpful. If it was, put a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I make travel vlogs every day that I'm traveling. So click that subscribe button if you want to travel along. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.